Boom! Look at that. You know, I want to take their soul when I'm in there. I can hear the sound of Juan the Spaniard, Archuleta, brother. How's John. it going, man? Good, good. It's good to see yeah. you. I get to spend my afternoons <laughs> at home watching film on guys. Oh, man. Yeah. And I get to watch film on you all the time. And you <laughs> are such an impressive fighter uh, I appreciate in the it. cage. Yeah. I appreciate the fact that I get to watch something that's that good. <laughs> How good was that? You have gone from a wrestling background into a complete MMA fighter, a guy that is unpredictable. I want to talk about what I see, and I want to find out your opinion on why you're doing it, how you're doing it, and how you're setting all this I'm up. I'm excited. I, I love watching film, too, just like you breaking it down, so I'm excited to get this done. Perfect. Let's do it. This is your first Bellator fight against William Joplin. Let's take a look at what you're doing here. You've got him off balance with your shots. Beautiful punches. You hurt him early. This is early in the first round. Did you think you were going to put him away? Once that uh, lead up cut caught, yeah, I was like, OK, I, I got my timing. I got my speed on him. He's going to come out a little bit slower and try to fill me out. I like coming out and putting pressure right away. Putting the pressure on someone is going to either shell him up or drop him on the, on the canvas like I did. This is a Juan Archuleta special. Yes. Because you love that outside trip. See, we drop him down, put him to the mat, right away transition. This is, this is the little moments that we can't lose. This is your last fight that you had in Bellator. This is against Spoon. This is a switch moment because this is early in the fight. Yeah. Four minutes and 30 seconds. There's only 30 <laughs> seconds gone. You overextend. You try to go, oh, I'm going to oh, show yeah. this guy I can hit him. He ends up getting your back. Yeah. Why did you overextend the way you did? Going back to one of my philosophies of putting the pressure on them early to see how they're going to react. Unfortunately for me, he reacted the way he was supposed to and got in on a good shot. I get taken down first time in my career. And Beautiful right. post to keep yourself up and use yeah. the fence to help you get up. And then that's switch moment happens where I'm just like, OK, you idiot, don't forget about the wrestling. Don't forget it's mixed martial arts, not, exactly. not kickboxing. So I control hands here. I start working back up, guard the punches. I realize he loses position, turn into him. Then, not just giving up because he got off my back. Immediately make the switch of getting his back to the fence, working takedown. The exact position he had on you, you will now have on him. I start showing some knees, making them think other things instead of just wrestling them. You know, I want to take their soul when I'm in there. And from here, just grinding them on the fence, it, it worries them. As you can see, you start getting worried, he gives up position, I take him down right there. This is the evolution of a fighter, going from wrestling to striking back to wrestling. It's the chaining of those transitions and those techniques together. That's what I'm seeing is making Juan Archuleta the 21 and one fighter that he is. All right, this is your fight against Robbie Peralta. How rare that you actually have someone's back against the cage. Boom! Look at that knee. OK, <laughs> that's what is so impressive is that you are willing to give up that clinch, that dirty boxing. And you can see it hits him, it stuns him. And then you can almost see the smirk on his face like, I never saw that coming. Yeah. Right away, I realized how strong he is at his defense with wrestling, which is why he's such a great martial artist. I just felt all his pressure going back. And when you're able to go in there and feel something, that's when you're able to be creative. It's the foreshadowing. You're giving him a feel of yes. something. And what is he starting to do? He's starting to defend that feel. And that's how that knee lands. Later on in this fight, <laughs> that's how you knock him out. Yes. It's that same exact knee tap. I know Robbie. I know what I would have been thinking. <laughs> He's going for the takedown. And here come my hands. Yeah. And you come over the top with that beautiful overhand right. If you're able to watch the whole fight, I, I definitely recommend it. In between the rounds, you're able to hear my corner call for it. Look at his foot. Make sure he sees you. Act in the circle, take it, lock him with the right. Okay. The whole fight we set this up. We're chain wrestling, we're creating things together, we're up and down. Just so happened, first 15 seconds yep. of the round, I went low, swimmed up, and uh, landed the overhand right, which is, you know, slicing butter at that point. Oh. It's slicing butter. Your next opponent is Ricky Bandejas. He is a solid fighter. He is very long for 135 pounds, and he uses that length well. What have you seen from him as a fighter that you think, ah, this is something I have to be able to deal with, this is a problem, and this is where I think I'm strong? 
Well, he's a blue collar athlete and he's a hard worker. You could tell, you could see his physique, the composure that he was able to keep throughout all this mayhem that Gallagher tried to put him through. That alone shows you his mental toughness. Keeping his range, staying composed. I think the only thing that I do different than Gallagher is the level changes and the, and the transitions from that point. I'm born to win. Definitely a, a good opponent, gamed opponent. You know, with this, it just shows my diversity of being able to go weight class to weight class, staying strong, staying healthy, and still performing. Well, I actually put out a tweet saying, this is the fight I wanted to see. I didn't even know that they were actually trying to make that fight, but I am so excited for your fight against Rika Bendejas. I think it's gonna be electric, probably gonna be fight of the night. I cannot wait to watch you. Oh, yes. Thank you for spending time Absolutely. with me, brother. Thanks for having me on You here. are awesome. A pleasure. We'll talk all day about fights. Matter of fact, let's throw some other fights on here. We'll break them let's down. Let's go. I'm ready. <laughs>